If you've delayed moving away from Evernote's so-called legacy software, you have to update your software to version 10 as soon as possible. Another big change is about to happen. I'm Dave Edwards. Let's talk about why that update is so important. First, a reminder, my course Evernote for Beginners will show you how to get the most out of Evernote. There are a lot of tips and tricks for newcomers or even those who are more experienced but need a bit of a tune-up. Learn more about Evernote for Beginners at DaveEdwardsMedia.com and click on Courses. First of all, a confession. When any of the programs I use get a major update, I don't update them automatically. My procrastination is based on experiences with updating versions that don't always work right away or cause other things to go wrong on my computer. I like to let others debug new versions first, so I wait a bit before I update. Now, having said that, if you're like me, I need to share some very important information. Evernote is going to shut down all of its old legacy versions. That's to say anything before version 10. So if you're running an old version, make sure you do this right away because the shutdown date is March 23rd. But this is not something you want to put off and forget. Now, this applies to anything released before version 10 on Mac OS, Windows, and the Android app. If you're wondering about iOS, that was already decommissioned earlier this year. So what happens if you don't? Well, it will be impossible to log in again until version 10 is installed on your computer or you choose to open Evernote on the web. Now, Evernote tells us that legacy clients haven't really been maintained since version 10 was introduced in 2020. So if you've been living on borrowed time, well, this is your warning. That means if you're still using an older version, you're at least four years behind on crucial vulnerability fixes and the current best practices for data protection and abuse protection. Now that's some serious procrastination. So why are they doing this anyway? Well, it's the same for all software companies. The older versions use older APIs, which bad guys can infiltrate. By shutting off the older version, that threat ends. Now, as you probably know, for many months, the Evernote developers have been rewriting the code that powers the system. So this will allow them to delete all of the old code, which helps the system run better and means the software folks don't have to always check backward compatibility. So here are some practical things you need to do. First of all, check what version you're running. On a Mac, click Evernote, then About Evernote from the menu bar, and then you'll see what version you're running. On Windows, click Help, then About from the menu bar. Secondly, check that all of your notes are synced. If you're online, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Third, Evernote recommends you back up all of your notes. Next, download the update from Evernote.com. Now, this is important. Once you've updated, when you start opening your notes on version 10, they're going to open a little bit slowly. Don't freak out or complain about how slow Evernote is running. That's going to happen because when you open the note for the first time, that note has to be migrated to a new format. The old formatted notes needs to be reformatted. But this is only a one-time thing. Now, there are those people who continue to insist that the older versions run better than version 10. My own experience and others I know uh, think that version 10 runs faster, except for the very first time you open that note. Now, after March 23rd, there's going to be no way to access the legacy clients or any content that has not been transferred over correctly. That's especially important for the procrastinators among us, although I will admit I updated to version 10 a long time ago. Now, one more update. Last week, I mentioned that Evernote was upgrading their AI cleanup tool. Well, they're renaming it to be called AI Edit, and it's going to do a lot more than just clean up your notes. It's really going to be an effective AI tool summarizing your notes, et cetera, et cetera. Last week, I didn't show you the new screens because they were rolling it out slowly, and I didn't have it yet. Well, now Evernote says it's available to all users. It is in version 10.77.3.
See, that's just another reason to download the latest version.